<laughs> Hello. Um, so I did say last week that I went a bit OTT and ordered lots of art supplies. And this is some more, <laughs> some more that I ordered on Friday. So it's just arrived. So I've got two big boxes from Jackson. So I'm going to do another unboxing and show you what I got. I'll start with the small box first because it's easy. I've got bubbles everywhere. And this little box should give away what I've got in the big box. If anyone follows me on any of the Facebook groups I'm in, they will most likely know what I've bought. So, this isn't that interesting. It's a dark indigo because mine's running out. <sighs> the Stanley knife. I'm getting into everything. So I ordered this, so I can sample all the different stuff, and it's actually like a pretty good little bag. Um, and this was £24 I think, so it comes with a little bottle of Gamsol, all of this, pretty much all the stuff I've bought is gambling, I think it's all gambling anyway, refined linseed oil, some Galkid Light, Some Neo McGilp. I love the name of this stuff. Neo McGilp. And then a little pot of cold wax. And then a little pot of some solvent free gel, which I'm really excited to try. So, all of those. I'm going to put them back. I'm going to line them up. it should give away what I've bought in the big box. Yeah, I've wanted to try this stuff out for ages and I finally just went for it last week. So, it's all nice and neat now. So, I ordered that. I've got lots of little boxes. So in here we have, so these are all Gamblin's oil paints. So I got Burnt Sienna. Um, I got quite a few earthy colours and then a few like, um, just a few of their Radiant line, which are really nice pastel colours. Um, because I want to draw animals. And then a few surreal pieces, and for the surreal pieces, I needed some bright colours. Okay. I'm just going to get them all out, and then I'll go through the colours in a sec. I think that will be easier. Oh, and that there is um, some more of the Fabriano Artistico, three hundred and forty pound. So the really thick stuff. Um, I'm currently doing two drawings on it at the minute. I'm doing a big Dalmatian and um, I'm doing my next set of patron tutorials on a Lynx Cub um, and it's really nice to work on. I'm definitely converted. So the colours I got are... Here. So this is from speaking to a few different artists about what colours I should get. So, <coughs> um, I spoke to Jane Booth, I think I think it's Jane Booth, Fine Art, um, she does oil paintings of pets, um, which are amazing, so she told me the sort of the earthy colours to get to work on animals. So, I've got <laughs> Burnt Sienna, um, that's not Burnt Sienna, that's Raw Umber, I've got Chromatic Black, 
raw umber, um, a titanium white, Portland grey light, which I really liked. Um, in Happy D's video, she did a 10, 10 colours for cool palettes, um, and she used this one, mixing it with another colour, and I just really liked the way it came out, and I thought it would be really, really good for the way I like to do white fur in coloured pencil, so I'm hoping it translates in paint. Um, I've then got a yellow ochre, burnt sienna, I'm just putting them in a pile next to me at the minute, warm white, this was also really nice, it's kind of got like a creamy tint to it, um, so I'm quite excited to use that. I then got a Prussian blue because, as you know, I like to use lots of blues in black fur. So I'm hoping, again, that it all translates into oils. So I got Prussian blue. I got an emerald green. Um, and then the radiant ones that I got are radiant turquoise, which is this really nice blue. Um, I got radiant blue, which is kind of this powder blue. And I got Radiant Violet. Now, in the videos I've seen of these used, they are really gorgeous, like pastel colours. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of, I don't want to... I don't want to get too much out, or like any out. But yeah, it's a really gorgeous colour. I'm really excited to use these. <clears throat> so that's the... That's the main thing I got. Um, I decided to use Gamblin um, because I've been watching lots of painters um, to pick up tips, etc., on how to do stuff, and they all seem to recommend Gamblin. So I thought instead of buying something cheap that I probably, or if I buy something cheap, I'm kind of. I might as well use good quality materials because they won't work as well as cheap ones. So that's why I went with Gamblin in the first place rather than buying something cheap which won't work as well as Gamblin anyway. So I just went with it. <laughs> this one won't come undone. I really apologise for the squeaking. And this is the... Galkid medium, which I've been hearing loads of good stuff about. It's used to thin out your royal paint, but um, help keep it nice and gloopy at the same time. It's like a bit thicker than water. It's a bit like runny honey. So that's the Galkid that I got. I then got one of these free gambling colour charts. So it's got all the colours in um, that gambling do so I can use that in case I want to add more colours and then I got this instead of buying canvases straight away um, I went with canvas paper just to practice on and then I will do bigger pieces on actual canvases. So I got the Fredericks um, medium texture. Um, yeah, it's acrylic primed for any medium. It did come up when I looked to see what could be used with oils. Um, I, th I like that it says real artist, that makes me laugh. Um, so I got this. I know Fredericks is good. Um, Lisa Lacree is always going on about Fredericks, Fredericks canvases, so I thought I will try that. It will most likely be good. So I'm hoping that comes out well. Um, I then got my Fabriano sheets. And what else did I buy? I bought some stuff yesterday, completely unrelated. Um, I bought some cheap canvas panels. From I think I got them at the works. Just really cheap canvas because when I graduate from paper, I'm gonna move on to cheap canvas, and then I'll actually, if I get good <laughs> at it, I'll move on to stretched canvases and actually 
Um, I, I'm really interested in painting on wood as well, wood panels I think will be really interesting. So this is my art haul. Um, yeah, <laughs> quite a lot. I, I think I ended up spending about, I think I'm up to about 300, no, maybe 250 I think on everything. Um, including the little sample bag thing. So yeah, that is everything that I bought. <laughs> I will get this posted on YouTube fairly quickly so you can all have a nosy, um, oh, and I got fixative as well. So that is about it. I hope everyone has a good day and I will catch you again next time. Bye guys! <laughs>